over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. You've been in the industry a long time. How was it in the music industry? That whole conversation about the gatekeeper drill, you know, the rituals, things people got to do, blood sacrifice thing. I don't know if you got into all that, but can you kind of go there, being as though you were in the belly of the beat in the music industry? I've read about all of that. I'm a... a I only can say I only can say my truth, and you would think that with the height of success that I had and the things I was able to do, the amount of records I sold, and actually the amount of um, I don't want to say political power, but the amount of social power that I that I was able to achieve, you would think that. I would be a prime candidate for this for this just to be, so we could say we could call it something for to be a member of the Illuminati or a member of the elite society or whatever. You would think that I would be that they would come at me, and I I think they did it sideways though. I never nobody never got at me directly and said we want you to join us and we're doing this. That's never happened. But I will tell you, I've had motherfuckers come at me on some weirdo shit, like on some gay shit. I've had motherfuckers come at me on some, oh, you should do this type shit. And I was like, wow, what? Man, man what the, why the fuck would I do that? <laughs> wow. I don't make no sense. I, I, I view that as being um, inhuman. I view that as, I, I would never do that. So, and then right when the, um, it was some things that I was trying to do that I felt were important, things that I, that I felt would help other people, shit started happening to me. Went to jail for some mm-hmm. bullshit. Got convicted. Well, not necessarily convicted, but because I, I didn't do no time, no real time, but Little shit started happening, you know, and I never, I didn't even address the shit really because who the fuck, when you know, and when you're a celebrity, bro, when something happens, whether it's true or it's not true, once it's been said, mm-hmm. for most people it's true because people don't, people don't do research to find out if something is true about a person or not, whatever they hear, they deem it to be truth. So I didn't, I didn't go hard on, oh, I, I didn't do that. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. That never happened. I just let the shit die down, continued on with my life. Also, um, I'm at a point right now in my life where it's a lot of shit I know that I want to tell people. It's a lot of things that I want to teach, but I'm afraid. I'm gonna be honest mm-hmm. with you. I'm scared because I, I got four grandchildren, and I got I got and I got I got children that are in this world. I got people I care about, and they, I got people that I care about that, that that don't necessarily believe what I believe. Yeah, and I and I'm not. I have no fear of death, and I think that. Those that would oppose my my beliefs, they they've probably done enough. If 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 somebody's after me or if somebody's watching me, then they know enough about me to know that I have no fear of death. So killing me don't mean shit. It just it just confirms that what I said was true. Hmm. But I do have a fear of them hurting my family. So I'm glad about certain things. I don't talk about everything I know because I don't I don't want my I don't want nobody in my family to be hurt. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nothing to happen to my people. And I, you know, 
if I owe them anything, I owe that to them. I owe them the, I owe them the, the, the you know, the, I owe them the, their, their lives to be able to live their life and not have, not be uh, subjected to, to any type of harm because of something I did or said. It's already happened once. You know, my, my oldest son did some time in prison and mm -hmm. he shouldn't have. It was his first offense. And people was, you know, I was going to court and I seen people having cases that were way worse than his mm -hmm. and not even being their first offense and them getting off. And they didn't have a better lawyer than he had. Some of them had fucking PDs, but they got off because whether they got off or not, it didn't, you know, it didn't matter to the world now. Now, but by by them, by them doing what they doing what they did to my son, it made me, it made me kind of shut the fuck up. I stopped talking about what I was talking about at that time because I, I felt like I was being, you know, and, and, and listen, I could be making this shit up in my head. It could be something I, I realized that. I would never know whether it's true or not, but just to make sure that it didn't happen again, I backed off. And uh, now, now let me say, when I backed off, shit stopped happening. So I'm more inclined to believe that maybe, maybe I was right. You know, I mean, like I said, I can't, I can't say if it's true or not. But uh, like I said, those things stopped happening to me. That kind of shit stopped happening to me. I stopped getting them weird messages. I stopped getting them weird emails. You know, I stopped having that feeling of being watched. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I mean, it's what it is. What it is. But at the same time, I often wonder why if people get on the internet and they say shit just for attention, or they make up shit. So that people will want to listen to what they have to say. And I bet you in at least 70, 70, 85 percent, 70 to 80 percent of the times they're doing it to get some fucking attention. Okay. And then 10 percent of the time people are telling the truth. You know, I've seen some crazy shit. I've seen some crazy shit, bro. I've seen some mm. shit like, wow, I've seen some shit that made me go, what the fuck? Is this really happening right now? Yeah. Is, it fair, is it fair to say, Coolio, that your, your celebrity is the reason why your voice is in danger? Like, is, is you speaking say out? Say one more time. You, you, you being the celebrity that you are, and and you being the, having the platform that you do, and your word obviously getting to masses and speaking somewhat of power. Is that the the threat that comes to you, and and is the threat that that is to them? Like, is your celebrity? The reason why you feel as though you can't speak and your and your and your family's life could potentially be in danger is that the reason? So in itself, yeah. is it a gift and a curse? Yeah. At, at one at, at one point in my career, people was fucking really listening to me, and they was they were really taking to heart what I had to say. People believed, people believed in me, and when I started when I started doing music. I did music. I, I made music because I wanted to be heard as a as a man. I wanted to be. I felt like that what I had to say was could help people, and it might be it might be important. I had information, or I, or I pay attention, and I might be able to help people. Um, when I I went platinum on my first album, when I went platinum, that meant that. I went double platinum, actually. That meant that I sold two million records. Now, maybe, who knows? Maybe one person bought 100 copies. But, who knows? but, for, but for all intents and purposes, then that means that one million people at least heard my voice and heard my point of view from a musical standpoint. Mm -hmm. I've always been of the belief that if you have the opportunity to reach that um, that many people, then you have the obligation to 
give them to give them something that they need. Now, with music, you give people what they need because people, but people hate. Most people don't like what they need. People like what they want. So I tried to mix it up. I tried to give people some of what they wanted, some of what they needed. I tried to create this balance. So that's why I came out with the records the way I came out with them. I do some fun shit, try to do some heavy shit, do some fun shit, do some heavy shit. Um, that was my that was my belief. I felt that I felt that that was my obligation to my to the to the listeners or to my core fan base. I I, I had the obligation to say something that they could use in their life on a daily basis to help them, not just do some shit that was fun or do some shit that was funny or do some shit that was that was gangster. It was some, I had to do some real shit too. So, and a lot of people, a lot of people don't give a fuck. All they do is give people what they want. And if you look at music now, if you look at the world in, in general, from from what I see, the balance is fucked up right now. If there's a, if there's a such thing as evil, and there's a such thing as good, mm -hmm. with this hand being good and this hand being evil, then fucking evils up here and goods. Wait, no, e goods up here and evils. I win it like a motherfucker. Evil is fucking winning right now. And from, from I man, I don't know, I don't know what y'all see from from what I see. He was fucking winning right now. And music is part of that. Music, music fucking influences people. And you know, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. A lot of people try to say, oh, it's not my responsibility to teach your children, or it's not, it's not my, you know, what I say don't matter, you know what I'm saying? I say what the fuck I want to say, and blah, 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 blah. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. What you say, if you are, especially if you're as popular as a Eminem or a 50 Cent or a, 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 a Kendrick Lamar or a Coolio, a, a, a Ice Cube, if you're that fucking popular, then what you say has some bearing and some merit. And these children, people's children and grandchildren are fucking listening to what you have to say. And from my point of view, it's your responsibility to give them some of what they need, and that's that's how I that's that's my that's how I feel about it. 